October the 20th. The current time is uh, 7.54. Okay, a little bit of news, obviously, out of Greece, still concerns there. Uh, there's a general strike, a 48-hour general strike that uh, is playing havoc with the market at the moment. Um, also, there seems to be a little bit of a rift developing between France and Germany uh, on the best way approach to recapitalise the banks, and uh, that's also playing a little bit of havoc as well. So we'll really have to see exactly what uh, happens on that front, but the Dow basically down um, 72 points at uh, 11,054. So let's uh, quickly have a look at the, the market. If you have a look at the world indices across the world, you can see the Dow was down 72, the S&P was down 15, NASDAQ was down 53. Across the Euro, um, a slightly different uh, tune. Uh, the top 50 there was up 23. Uh, the FTSE was up 40, the CAC was up 16, and the DAX was up uh, 36. So uh, quite positive on that front. Uh, but uh, let's see how they trade tonight. We do expect, obviously, some nervousness ahead uh, of the Brussels meeting. And uh, obviously, that's going to be the number one item or ticket for the week to see exactly really what happens and how the market will actually trade. Um, look, I think uh, the general feeling that we've got is that... Uh, is that, that there will be the package. It'll take time for the package. We are hearing concerns that... Uh, that the banks will lose close to or have to uh, have a fire sale in order to raise the cash in order to comply to the tier one capital ratios which we've talked about in the bulletin and they could realize um you know have to realize about a trillion dollars in order for them to comply so uh, it could be that might take some time but the important thing is that we get a blueprint on what we can do okay the spy was down uh, 37 points at 4181 and as you can see that uh, still within its range Okay, um, let's have a quick look at the um, the commodities just quickly. Uh, Brent crude was down 2.65%, 108.50. West Texas was down um, 2.31 at 86. Once again, you can see the flavour. Equities go down, commodities go down. That's pretty much across the board when you look at it. Uh, there was a big move on soybeans uh, down at 12.31. And uh, you saw wheat also under a little bit of pressure there at 6.19 uh, and a half. Uh, certainly concerns there on uh, what's happening. Certainly concerns there on what's happening uh, on the supply side. Copper took a small hit, uh, down 14 at 3.21. Gold was off $9 at 16.43, and the silver was off 2.52 uh, at 31. Um, okay, let's just have a quick look. I guess the the main thing out there is is obviously what we're going to do. Um, you know, um, concerning the summit and how the market's going to react to it. So I think it's going to be quite a busy, it's going to be quite a busy Monday morning when the market tries to digest the actual plan, um, and we'll probably get snippets as that unfolds. But uh, you'd expect with the uncertainty there, with the uncertainty that uh, the market's going to remain quite volatile, and you'll probably see people move away uh, from equities and perhaps uh, piling that US dollar. And uh, I think that's what we have seen. And all we'll continue to see, I think, uh, in the lead up. So uh, let's have a look at that dollar index. And as you can see there on the daily basis, still quite steady. Uh, those momentum indicators look quite positive. And uh, if you go to the hourly, you can see that uh, we have seen a little bit of a lift there. And there you are from that low, and that's ex anticipated. So if anything, you probably see a dollar index back up through 78, 78.40. Uh, just purely as people move towards more of a safe haven uh, for these sorts of things. So uh, I'd expect that uh, that to continue. Um, and uh, let's also check uh, dollar index as a result of that. Uh, commodities, that Aussie, sorry, 102.23. Expect that to come lower. Uh, people can quite comfortably sell that Aussie if they want to uh, as a trade, and that stop will go in at 103.60.70. Uh, um, I think that we also recommended that. Uh, also uh, on the bulletin. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the uh, couple of the markets, the SPY. Down 37, um, expected more losses, but as you can see, really has to break through that uh, 41 area, 41.20. Uh, if we see a breakthrough there, then uh, down she comes. So uh, down a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Um, looking at some of the other commodities, big move on copper, which was a surprise, down 4%. 
322. Uh, we did actually have or suggested that uh, uh, we wanted to see that move up to 360. Uh, 345 is where it uh, actually came to, so that could be considered that correction. And, um, and obviously, if we got jitters over Europe, then copper will be affected. Um, as we have mentioned, uh, this recent we had, we've always said it's a bull. Uh, it's a it's a bull move in an overall bear market for copper, so uh, that might see a little bit more of a shakeout there. Uh, one thing we did uh, notice last night, obviously we had the in the U.S. consumer price index, uh, pretty much as expected, 0.3, so uh, that's uh, not too bad. That's the month on month, and uh, but uh, the overall price index, <coughs> excuse me, was up just one tenth of a percent at 3.9. Okay, um, so that's it. Also, um, EIA oil crude stocks changed. We saw um, uh, quite a, a draw. Um, we're expecting a build there, but we saw a draw. But that really didn't affect the price of oil, which is under pressure. I'll do a little bit more work on that. Oil, as you can see, uh, dropped quite dramatically uh, from that 88.20 area just in the last couple of hours. So that's obviously on a little bit of that rift uh, that we've talked about. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much on that front. Um, let's see what happens, and uh, obviously uh, tonight well, let's look at the uh, what we've got in terms of what we've got in terms of the economic calendar. And uh, oops, looks like I've got a little bit of an issue there. That's okay. We'll just move on to this. And uh, what have we got in terms of the economic calendar? RBA foreign transactions today. Uh, National Australia Bank's Business Conference in Australia, FDI out of China, we've got German, P German producer prices, retail sales in the UK, and uh, in the States uh, we've got leading indicators, and that's expected just to claw back just a little bit. Existing home sales, quite important, expecting a little bit of a turnaround or a negative number there, um, so that to me is something we're going to focus on. So I guess that's uh, pretty, much, uh, pretty much about it for, for today. Uh, happy trading for everyone, and uh, we'll certainly talk to you tomorrow, and bye for now.